Welcome back to the Prison Architect tutorial series. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. In this episode, we are going to be covering the classroom. Now, the classroom, we're going to start with the requirements, which is a 5x5 five five minimum. It's got to have a school desk and an office desk. And then also you have to have researched education in the bureaucracy tab. So uh, those are the requirements to basically unlock the classroom and get it set up ready to go. Now, you can improve the classroom by adding some bookshelves, a blackboard, and then also uh, I find interesting a water cooler will apparently improve the quality of this room, and then an outdoor window. So if I wanted to, I could go, where's, uh, where's the window? Where is it? Objects, window. So if I wanted to put a window right here, that will actually improve the quality of the classroom as well. Now, the classroom is used by inmates and guards, uh, where guards will use it for, um, taser certification classes now you can see here's the teacher he arrives i believe like an hour or so before class he gets prepared inmates will show up and he's going to do the teaching now if the oh one other thing i will say about guards taking the class here is that the chief is the one that does the teaching so if you can it's not a terrible idea to have the classroom relatively close to the chief's office so that they don't have to walk really far and be tired by the time they get there. Um, like if I was to do this over again, I would have had the classroom here instead of here. But anyway, that's just a tip that can help. You just don't want to make sure that you want to make sure that you don't have it really far away from the chief's office. Uh, now the inmates will show up. They're going to take the class. And there are two types of classes. There are the foundation education program and the general education course, uh, with the foundation one being the easier of the two. And then once they pass that, they qualify to take the general education course. If they fail either of those, same thing, same thing with guards as well. If they fail, they can retake the course. However, you don't really impact if or when they retake any courses, they just decide to do it on their own. So that's uh, just a mechanic that, again, you can't really influence, but something that's noteworthy. The other thing I guess to keep in mind is that they take, those courses each take three hours. So you see here, foundation education program is set to run from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m in one of our first work slash free time slots. And then we've got the general education uh, program running from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. So again, they each take three hour blocks and you either have to have separate classrooms for each or two three hour blocks of work slash free time or programs in your daily uh, calendar in order for them to be able to, uh, to take those programs. Now, one thing that is actually a good idea is to not have a guard stationed in the classroom because the guards can actually make the inmates nervous and um, cause them to fail. So if you can, avoid having the guard in there and then maybe as a trade-off, just have them like patrol right outside the door just in case they go bonkers and try and attack the teacher, you might be able to save the life of the teacher by having that guard right there to respond to an incident. So that's it for the classroom. I hope that this was helpful. Please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time.